Hi and welcome back to another software tutorial for Guards on Flickr. In this little video series I'd like to present to you five different methods you could use to actually update the operating system on your device. Now for the first three of those methods I would assume that you have connected your device through the serial port to your development machine because we will be updating the operating system manually from there. Now if you need help setting that up you could check out our previous software tutorial which will be linked in the box below. Now the first of those three methods will involve installation from a USB stick. After that I'll show you how to do the same thing from a local TFTP server and in the third one I'll show you how to do the same thing from the Gods of Flickr web server, which will of course require a device to be connected to the internet. After that, I will introduce you to Flash and Go Update, which is our graphical installer to do the same thing automatically. So you will not need a development machine for that. Now, I'm quite positive that at least one of those methods will cover your needs. All right, so let's go straight into the first scenario. We'll use a USB stick. And the first thing we have to do is copy over the OS file. So I'll just insert it into my development machine. All right, as you can see, the USB stick is empty. So we will have to download the operating system files and put them there. On the left side of my screen, I have already opened TerraTerm, which I will be using to connect to uh, my Santaro through the serial port. Um, so let's have a quick trip to the Guards on Flickr website. Um, you'll try, you'll, you need to find your, um, your particular device here. And um, access its download section. So I'll uh, use the display size to guide me here. And I know it's a Santaro because I saw the boot logo. So I'll select this one. And here you have a lot of information and overviews and manuals and data sheets and whatever you need. Uh, we will just be going straight to the software section and we'll go straight to Linux Yocto Rocco, which is the latest uh, release for this particular device or in general for our devices and the latest version of that is the 3.1 so um, I think it's already installed in my um, machine here but it won't hurt to just just install it again so let's go and download the image here so we have to download all these things this is the installation scripts and some uh, the main files are in this archive here and if you need, you can check the MD5 sum. Um, so we'll just download them. And let's just, why not, you know, go and download them straight to the USB stick. So the script and Python package. And of course, the tar. And we wait for that to finish. The downloads have finished and um, everything seems to be in order here or the files are present on the USB stick. Let's uh, unplug it then. And um, insert it into the USB connector on the Santaro. So let's lock into our Santaro device through the serial port. I'm using TerraTerm as usual. Um, we'll log in as root, which by default with our devices has no password. So once you put your device in a productive environment, you should change that, of course. But for us, it's kind of convenient. So um, what we have to do now is uh, boot into Flash and Go system. From there, it is actually possible to update the operating system. Flash and Go system is like a second little operating system running on your device uh, which can do these kind of tasks so um, to do so use this little command called boot select um, just calling it will tell you into which boot mode you are booted at this moment which is regular but we want the alternative so we call boot select alternative and if we reboot the system now we will be booting a new flash and go system so let's do that we've successfully booted into flash and go system now um, we have to run the installation script from the USB stick, which will be found here in mount and M stick one in this case. So there we are. And let's look into it. And as you can see, there are the files that we downloaded earlier. So now in theory, all we'd have to do is uh, just run the 
installation script from here but just in case you've already used the TFTP method which I will be explaining later on um, you will have to unset a variable so I'll just do it so you know it so it's called onset TFTP and once you've done that all you need to do is as we said just run the script run the script and wait for it all right so um, the update has finished successfully and now all we need to do is call boot select again again check where we are we are in alternative mode so boot select uh, regular and hit reboot again and we will be booting into our brand new Rocco installation. I'd like to thank you for uh, joining me in this little tutorial here. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you and if it has please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more software tutorials from our Gods and Flicker channel then please hit subscribe as well. Um, in the next video of the series I will show you how to install the operating system from a local TFTP server so please tune in again for that. Thanks and bye-bye.